all collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. Today's video takes place in our Real Little's shoe store. Because I got Real Little shoes on clearance at Target for $1.49. I love a good deal. These might be series one. I haven't been keeping up, to be honest. But there are still a few that I haven't found. So here we are. And that's definitely a double. Yep. These are the Sporty Sport Runners. They are too large for a classic Barbie foot. We can get them on a curvy. There's a little room in there. We might need some socks. Will they fit a Disney Illy Forever doll? Let's find out. And I think they might. It's not easy to get it onto the foot, but we can. We can get it on. Let's remove the chain. And now our Disney Illy Forever dolls have more shoes. Well, these anyway. Looking at the collector's guide, I want this one, that one, that one, and those. Ooh, that one too. Ooh, and these too. I love how these come in little miniature shoe boxes. I think it's so adorable. And the boxes look great on the shelves. Let's see. Oh, I got a pair that I wanted. These are the Undercover Roses sneakers. You know I'm crazy about florals right now. This is perfect. They're a little big for a classic Barbie, but they're staying on, so we're just gonna give her some socks. For my Illy Forever doll, I might have to split them in the back to make them fit. And I have to be careful because bending the shoe can make this finish crack. Let's take a quick break from the shoes and take a look at Giant Barbies. This is a My First Barbie. I got it for $19.99 at Target. It says soft touch body and it is 13 and a half inches tall versus one of our classic Barbies, which stand about 11 and a half inches, making it two inches taller. Remove the paper from around the waist and we've got this large rubbery Barbie with huge eyes. I can only give you my opinion as an adult collector because that's what I am. And personally, I would have liked to have seen a smaller eye. I don't know what it is. It's just throwing me a little. The hair is pretty soft. We have a little bit of a wave to it. As far as dolls go, this doll is a little heavy. It does have some articulation. The head can move. Can it go up? Um, a tiny bit, but it just kind of goes back down. We have some nice rotation at the arm. They can go out to the side and forward and back. This doll has click elbows and they actually have pretty decent range. And I'm liking that seamless joint. The fingers are together. This doll has sculpted undergarments, some rotation at the hip and a bend and snap knee which also has some pretty nice range. Usually I'm very anti-click knee, but I'm okay with these. The foot is on an incline. We have doll shoes, a headband, a brush, and a plush poodle on a ribbon. The back is solid. I like the idea. I mean, those seamless joints are kind of awesome, but personally, I would have liked for the doll to have been, you know, the regular Barbie size. That way it would be compatible with doll houses and other one six scale accessories. Some might argue that it's larger because of potential choking hazards for younger collectors, but then, what about those? As an adult doll collector, I am totally adding these to my collection because they're giant Barbies. What? She needed a friend. This doll comes with a pink visor, humongous eyes, purple shoes, a purple brush, and a plush bunny on a ribbon. I wonder if they can fit real little shoes, cause I got more. I might have gotten all the shoes that were left in the store because it was a great price and I'm all about a deal. You know what I'm saying? Here we have, ooh, two cutie basketball shoes. Can they fit the giant Barbie? 
It looks like they should be able to, but since they're rubbery, it's not very easy to get the shoe on. Oh, there, we did it. Since the foot is on an incline, the doll will be walking on its toes. And I don't know if this is going to damage these squishy little ankles because it wasn't easy to get on. Oh, but look, they can wear monster high shoes. Let's open another one. Cause we still have a few that we need to check off our list. And this is a double. Oh no, 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 correction, it's a triple. Let's try again. Hopefully this one will be something that we want. All right, let's see. And it is a double, it's right there. The giant Barbies have fashion packs. I picked up one. They come wearing little dresses with some printed details. This one has a little ruffle at the bottom and this one is gathered at the waist. The bottom of this skirt has a raw edge. So do the ruffles and they open in the back with Velcro. The fashion pack gives us a complete outfit. This one looks like PJs. Kind of love that. I wonder if it can fit a classic Barbie. It's a little large, but hey, they're PJs. That just makes them extra comfy. The house shoes are a little large and they won't stay on a classic Barbie. There's a unicorn donut, which we can just say is a supersized donut in our one six scale dollhouse. Here are the PJs on a curvy Barbie. What's up, Angelina? I kind of like it. If we wanted to, we could just move the Velcro over in the back, but it's not terrible. Might even be able to get away with the house shoes because they're staying on. Here it is on a smart doll. It becomes a shirt and it's a little tight. Here it is on the doll that it was made for. Very comfy fit. It was easy to put on. The shoes stay on and there is a plush unicorn donut. I still need a few more shoes. So the search continues. Hopefully we'll find what we are looking for. And oh, the rare neon glitter chunky shoes. I wanted these, but I didn't want to get too ambitious. So I didn't say it, but I got them. These hug the Barbie's feet. So a classic Barbie has no problem keeping these on. I'll probably throw on a pair of socks just to make sure the foot doesn't wiggle around. But yeah, awesome. And they are perfect on a curvy. We are not doing too bad. We're getting lots of shoes we've never had before. So yeah. And as soon as I say that, I get a double. <laughs> hey mom, you want some shoes? People always want to know what I do with my dreaded doubles. And uh, I keep some for possible future customizing and many I give away. It's always good to have a dolly friend, you know, so you can exchange doubles, preferably local because shipping can get insane. These are called Meow. And these are also new to my collection. They're a little large on a classic and Curvy's could use a pair of socks. There were a lot of questions about the metal chair from a previous video. Like, can it fit a smart doll? I'm gonna just say most likely not. Yeah, it's a little too small, but can it fit a giant Barbie? Looks like that's a yes. The size looks kind of perfect. And since she has click knees, she can sit in the chair with no problem. Her feet don't touch the ground, but I still think it looks pretty good because this is a wider doll and everything. Unfortunately, the link that I have says that the chair is currently unavailable, but I'll just keep an eye out and let you all know if that changes, assuming I remember. All right, come on, come on, no doubles, no doubles. This is 2023, 20, we're having good luck, right? Good, good luck. <laughs> oh no. But you know what? These shoes are covered in like glitter, giving us a textured surface that might hold paint. Hmm, my favorite nail polish. Do we dare experiment? Yes, yes we do. 
I just filled in that little spot and uh, yeah, let's see how that works. It's a subtle change, but I like it. That's what it looked like before and that's after. Love it. While that's drying, let's carry on because I still have a few more I want to find. No, no, seriously, it's a triple. I'm just gonna put those back in the box. I was looking around Target to see if there were other accessories already in store that could fit the giant Barbies. And I think some of the Our Generation items might work. Wow, this package is made from recycled materials and printed with soy-based ink and is 100% recyclable. It's a milkshake set. We have the little machine here and we can turn these and we can remove them. There's a milkshake in a glass, some straws in a container, and a spoon. Here's the machine next to the giant Barbie. I think it totally works along with the straws. And the milkshake just looks like it's been supersized. The spoon, however, is a little large, but maybe she'll just use the straw. We're down to our last two real little shoes. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be good. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Yay! We've seen these before. And our last one is... Okay, 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 okay. Um, the Rare Splash Shoes, which is a double for me. Overall, I am happy we found a few shoes that were on our list. We customized a pair and we checked out Giant Barbies that I do wish were 11 and a half inches, but my mom just pointed out that the larger doll might be easier for a younger collector to dress. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for joining us for another video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuffthefrogvlog and Bella of myfroggystuff. And we will see you next time.